I have been in an extremely lucky position where I have been sent three different samples of Yemen Blue and some of them are not even on sale and I totally get that this is a very lucky and privileged situation to be in and I feel that it's my duty to share with you guys what these three are because I know you guys are fascinated by Yemen Blue and I really really wanted to do that. So we are going to do a in-depth comparison of the three Yemen Blues that I have. We have the Crema one, the Core one and the A Gallo one. The Crema one was part of the Blue palette set which I will link up here for you guys for the full review of the palette that this colour came in. Yemen Blue by Core is not for sale and they very very specially sent me a tube with a note to make sure you guys know to not call Core Custom Service and overwhelm them asking whether it's on sale. It's not on sale and I want to be clear about that. It was a test experiment thing and then the A Gala one was part of their signature set, beautiful set again, which I will also link up here for you. And I have done an in-depth full test sheet on all three of them. So let's get started with a comparison. First up with the gradation or just in general the mass tone, I feel that the Yemen Blue by Crema and Core are a little bit more chalkier, a little bit more reddier. This is definitely closer to ultramarine blue, whereas the other two Yemen blue are somewhere between ultramarine blue and cobalt blue. This only smidgenly looks more like ultramarine blue than these two. There's not much between the three colours, as in ultramarine blue, Yemen blue and cobalt blue, and this is why a lot of people are like, what is the point of this? The point of this is that it's hugely interesting if you're a pigment nerd and you want to try new pigment that we have access to a brand new pigment. Uh, it's the first blue pigment in so long. We're just geeking out on this rather than it being a very special, specialized color that you can't find anywhere else. You totally can. You can get ultramarine blue or cobalt blue and you don't need it. But how many colors do we own that are because we want them rather than need it? And that's completely okay by me. In terms of gradation, and this is where you see the granulation a lot, the core one has the most amount of granulation, as in their big granulation. Then you have a smaller amount of granulation, and the least granulating one is the crema one. The crema one and the A Gala one, also in, from the mid-tone to the lightest pale colour, they have a very subtle warmth. There's a definitely a more of a very very watered down salo blue yellow shade or green shade nest to the background that's very subtle whereas the core one doesn't quite have that on different kinds of paper so this test sheet is made with Bockingford cold press i also tested these colors on Bockingford hot press Bockingford rough as well as ash cold press and i would say they look pretty similar you can see more granulation here than you can in either the A Gallo or the Crema, but there's not much between the three of them. In terms of opacity, the Crema one and Core one is much more opaque than the A Gallo one. A Gallo one, there's nowhere near the amount of deposit that is left on the opacity strip. And by the way, if you want to have a good look at this, I will put all three of these high-res scans over on my Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash ottocano so that you can check them out in detail. In terms of lifting, the Yen Min Blue by Core lifts the best and actually significantly better than the other two. And in terms of glazes, I think the Core one glazes the best as well. But I do see some lifting here. See where this line and this line is lighter than the rest whereas there's less lifting on here. And that's because the core one is easier to lift, so when you glaze, the color is going to lift up quicker than the A Gala one. In terms of gauzing, they're all gauze, but I think the Crema one gauzed the best. In terms of color mixes, I think there is a 
most noticeable difference in the core in that you can really see the granulation when you mix it with other colors. Look at these compared to the much finer granulation you get from the other two colors. So I know you can't get hold of a core Yemen blue, but if you ever do and you are after extreme granulation, then this is the one for you. The other two is definitely more a milder granulation, more like a ultramarine kind of granulation. In terms of salt test, like most colors that goes well, they don't really react to salt at all. And it's kind of same for water balloons. There's nothing happening here at all much. In terms of paint characteristics and pros and cons of it, I do have to note one that core isn't commercially available. The other thing is that Crema is one. I've had problems with them. They may have reformulated since, because this has been a couple of years now since they sent me their Yemen Blue, but with theirs, I have to be honest with you guys, and it kills me to say bad words about, you know, really good brands like Crema, but after a while, after a few months, they didn't re-wet at all. The pan just hardened. Well, not hardened because they were hard already, but it wouldn't dissolve in water anymore, no matter what I did. So I do think that is a quality control issue. I would make sure that Crema has addressed that issue since before you buy your crema paint because Yemen Bulu is supremely expensive right now because not many people are using it. The more people or more brands that buy them or and especially if automotive industries start buying them then the pigment cost does come down whereas nobody's using Yemen Bulu commercially really. You want to make sure there's good quality paint that you're going to be able to use for months on end. I did the same test for core. So if you remember when I was talking, just comparing these two in the previous video, I said in six months time, I will do a re-wet test and share with you guys. I have done that and here's the clip. This is Core's Yemen Blue. And I promised you when I featured that paint in a previous video, which I will link up here for you. I said the Crema one had a problem with re-wet after a while, like it just wouldn't re at all. So I'm going to do the same test for the core. It is now, amazingly, six months later, well, almost six months. This was poured on the 22nd of November, 2021. And today is the 12th of May, 2021. So it's 10 days short of six months, but I think it's fine because the crema one solidified way before six months mark. So let's see how the core one re -wets. Oh yeah, it re -wets fine. It's not a problem at all whatsoever. So I can happily recommend the core one to you over the crema one, just purely for this fact that it's a lot more stable once dry. And even after six months, it will re-wet perfectly fine. As you can see, these re-wet fine after six months and therefore I don't foresee a similar problem to the crema problem. The A Gala one, I've only just received this, so I can't do a re-wet test. However, it does come in a pan already. It is dry and it re-wets really well. So I also don't foresee a problem. Maybe I'll do a six month test again. But since it's between A Gala and Crema of actual colors you can buy right now commercially, I would pick the A Gala one just because it doesn't have the problem of the paint aging and then not being able to re-wet. Also, it's very comparable. The only difference between the A Gala one than the Crema and the Core one is its opacity. These two are significantly more opaque than the A Gala one, so that might be something that you want to be aware of when you buy the A Gala one rather than the Crema one. But I mean, honestly, they behave pretty similar and I would much prefer to buy the A Gala one knowing that it's not going to have the same issue that the Crema one has. The people from A Gala have watched the Crema video and said that they've not experienced the same kind of issue with theirs. So I would definitely recommend this over the Crema one. The Rewear issue is also the reason why you will see clips of me painting with this core one and A Gala one, but not the Crema one, just because 
the one that I have and they sent me another one and that one has had the same issue. I can't re-wet the paint now so I can't do that paint clip for you but I can for this and that's why you've seen these two. I hope that was an interesting comparison of three Yumin Blues. Supremely grateful to Crema, Core and A Gallo for sending me these precious, precious paints. Thank you so much for making it possible for me to do this comparison. All three brands have created great paints with them and I am grateful that they thought of me to send me samples of them. I am just thank you so much. I hope this comparison was useful to you guys and do let me know if you think of purchasing a Yemin Blue and which one you'd go for. Let's pretend that Core 1 is also available even though it's not and just tell me which brand you would go for out of these three brands. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will put high risk scans of this over on my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Ottocano. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye!